the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you to worsen the insecurity happening in the country, kidnappers have abducted pupils, teachers, and they are demanding 30 million naira ransom. But guys, before we proceed with this news, welcome to Reality Letters GC, your home of news and politics. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. If this is your first time of watching, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when else we drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend and latest news happening on social media. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for joining us. To all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy and stay connected. No fewer than six pupils, three teachers and the driver of a private school bus in Ekiti were on Monday night kidnapped by gunmen suspected to be hitmen. They were abducted when returning from Ekoro Ekiti on the school bus. Their kidnap came barely hours after two monarchies, the Onumojo of Imojo in Oye local government area, Oba Olatunde Olusola, and the Eloso of Eson Ekiti in Ikole local government area. Oba Babatunde Ogusaki were killed by gunmen along Ipua Oki Ako Road. While their colleague, the Alara of Ara Ekiti, Oba Adebayo Fatobi, in equally local government area, managed to escape. It was glad that the kidnapped pupils were students of Apostolic Noisre and Primary School, Emure Ekiti, in Ekiti State. Abductors of school children contacted the families of their victims demanding 30 million naira as ransom to release the five pupils and other victims. A source close to the family of one of the children said the kidnappers reached out to them yesterday evening and they are asking for 30 million naira in exchange for the freedom of their victims. Police arrested five kidnapped suspects and in a related development, there has been a joint operation team in Ekiti State where the civil defense and the local hunters have also arrested five suspected kidnappers while in the bush combining operations through OK Osun Ikere Igbo account to the thick forest around Iju Ikere boundary. During interrogation, the suspect who claimed to be Hesmen were found with two motorcycles, one cutlass, one jackknife and dagger and four phones. On the slain traditional rulers, source said that they were returning from a function in Kogi State when their vehicles ran into the suspected kidnappers who had led an ambush. According to the source, they said that the bandits chased Lara in a bid to kidnap him, though two other monarchies also attempted to escape but were shot by the government. The chairman of the Ajani Local Council Development Area, Michael Ogubami, in whose domain the incident took place, said the corpse of the two monarchs had been recovered from the scene and they have been taken to a mortuary. They confirmed that the traditional rulers were coming from Kogi states when they were attacked in the Oke Ako area. And that tension was brewing in the community of the two monarchs killed by the government, with a source saying that the people might be forced to arm themselves against Hesmen in the state, as those suspected to have killed the monarchs were Hesmen. The sad incident elicited an immediate response from Governor Biodu Oyibaji, who urged Ekiti residents not to despair over the kidnapping of the school pupils and their teachers as security had been stepped up to rescue them. President Bola Metunubu has also ordered the security agency to rescue those abducted, vowing that the killers of the traditional rulers would not escape justice. In his response to the clearon call, he said that the Kitty and Ondo Police Command have launched a joint rescue operation. In Governor Zabiodo's statement, he described the kidnap as callous and unacceptable, saying that nothing would be spared in efforts to rescue the children and their teachers. Also, security agencies in the state are already on the trail of the adopters with a mandate to bring the people and their teachers back safely. The governor said security is being stepped up across the state to flush out criminals' elements from their hideout. While calling on the citizens to remain calm and vigilant, he urged them to cooperate with security agency by making available relevant information to the authorities. He also pledged a swift and comprehensive rescue operation to ensure the safe return of the adopted children. Also, the police public relations officer, Sunday Abutu, stated that the command in Ekiti and their counterpart in Ondo have launched a search and secure operation in the area the incident took place and adjoining forests to rescue the 10 kidnapped victims. He added that other sister agencies and equally joined the operation to bring the kidnapped victim home 
to their families and they have also apprehended the bandits responsible for the heinous crime on the killing of monarchs i would say that it was a case of suspected murder adding that necessary action is underway as tactical and intelligence teams have been deployed to that as it to unravel the killers and bring them to book meanwhile the federation of Ekiti state student union had a peaceful walk in Ado Kitty, seeking the state government intervention to rescue the peoples and restore security. Speaking with the journalist in Ado Kitty, the national president of the Federation of Ekiti State Students, Comrade Abel, described the incident as pathetic. And these children were kidnapped in their bus. This is the major reason they are calling on the security forces, media houses, and the government itself to rescue the peoples and bring them back to their comfort zone. Education is our right. And if we cannot study in a peaceful environment anymore, then what is our right? Condemning the killing of the two traditional rulers, President Bola Metinubu declared that those behind that drastically act would not escape justice. And in his statement he issued by his special advisor on media and publicity, Ajurin Galele, condoled with the families and subjects of the traditional rulers, Governor Ohibanje, and the people of Ekiti State on the agonizing development. He also directed the immediate rescue of pupils and teachers kidnapped around the Akborekiti area of the state. A security of life and property is the primary responsibility of the government. So President Bolami Otunubo has assured Nigerians that the nation's security architecture is being robustly fortified for better and expected outcome. It so President Bolami Otunubo has charged all the relevant securities based committees of this house to engage with the security chiefs on some of the most immediate measures and resources needed to improve security across the country. Over 180 kidnapped in Abuja, Kaduna, Nasrawa, Kogi, Niger in one month. No fewer than 180 persons were kidnapped in the federal capital territory and adjoining states by bandits and herdsmen between December 2023 and this month. Aside from the FCT, other states affected, including Kaduna, Nasrawa, Kogi, and Niger, before December 2023, there was no kidnapping incident reported in Abuja for about 10 months. But from December 2023 to date, over 180 people have, have been kidnapped in Abuja, Kaduna, Niger, and Nasrawa states. The kidnappers released the man and ordered him to pay 50 million for his children. One of the sisters, a 21 year old undergraduate, was killed by the kidnappers because ransom payment was delayed. So, guys, I would like to know your thinking this because the insecurity is getting too much. Let us know what you think about this issue in the comment section. We'd we'll love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying tuned with us. We really do appreciate it. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. To like, comment, awareness. Stay safe, guys. Bye.